this is this going to be about reverse racism in business. I've experienced this all my uh, grown life. Just black people, just racist against black people. So I was at Planet Fitness today, right? Because, you know, that's one of the gyms I go to. You know what I'm saying? I follow the rules. I'm quiet. I do my thing. I leave. I'm on the automatic pay system. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, every time I scan my, you know, my thing, they make sure, you know, I'm up to date. One time it wasn't, <clears throat> you know, I just paid it right there like boom, you know, so ain't no problem with the, with the money. I've been there for like a year or so, right? I go in there like maybe once, twice every two weeks. Okay. You know, I'm not heavy off in there, but nonetheless, I go in there and I notice a dude. When I want to get on, like, the bed, you know, because I paid a $20, you know, with the black card joint. And I want to get on the bed or I want to get on the chair. It's like he got, you know, he feels some type of way every time. I'm like, yo, can I, you know what I'm saying? It's just different with this dude. And I was like, something ain't right with him. So today I go in there. I was like, yo, can I get on the bed? He's like, yeah, you got 10 minutes on the bed. It's never a smile or never a hello, how you doing? None, none of that. But with the other people, it is. But with him, it's always attitude. And I'm just like, these young dudes today, he black too. These young dudes today, man, something wrong with these cats, man. Because they think older dudes can't handle theirs. They think that we like obsolete or something. Like, where do you think you came from? So nonetheless, I'm like, all right, whatever. I go back and get on bed 10. I'm doing my thing. Next thing you know, the machine shut off. Like, I'm back there, supposed to be back there for 10 minutes, like, seven minutes into the game, the machine shut off. I'm like, why'd the machine shut off? Then these two white people, this white couple came back there, and they were like, oh, he said it was available. And so I just cut it right back on, because, you know, I still got like three minutes. Two minutes into that, it shut off again. And they come back there, and they're like standing there, and they're like, and then they look at me and like, yo, what's the problem? And I just, I, you know, I ain't want to say nothing to these white folks. Because I'm like, I, I, you know, Donald Trump got the whole world in an uproar. And I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to have no art against white people. But you know if I'm still laying down on the machine, then the problem is you coming back there and acting like I'm supposed to get up when I still got 10 minutes on it or I still got a minute and a half on the damn machine. So I wanted to say something to this goofy chick, but I was like, nah, because I don't feel like fighting with her and her man back here. So I went up front to the black dude and was just like, yo, I still had time on there. You know, he's like. Oh, man, I was like, nah, no, you did that to me twice. Like, you took me off of my time so these white people can get on to the bed. Like, the gym isn't about to close. They not in a hurry. Like, that's straight up reverse racism. That's straight up disrespectful. And so I started to walk away, you know, and then I came back like, yo, like, like, what's, like, what's the problem? Like, I was heated. And I was like, yo, I pay my money here just like everybody else. I pay my $20 here just like everybody who's like, I know, man, well, you ain't got to come up and raise no. I'm like, yes, I do. Because your ass just took us back uh, 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 to like 100 years with that nonsense you just did. With your house nigga ass. You know what I'm saying? Straight up on some house nigga type of stuff. Like you just, you just took us back, you know, 200 years with your goofy ass. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm a dark-skinned man, what, you got an issue with me? Look, I'm tired of black people having issues with black people who they don't even know. If you got an issue with somebody, let it be with somebody who got an issue with you. I don't need to come into your establishment or establishment you work at. You don't even own nothing. And you got an attitude with me. You don't even know me. I ain't still your girl. I don't know your moms. I ain't never took nothing from you. I don't know you. Just do your job and let me do what I pay for. So you know, uh, you know, I'm just going to cancel my uh, my um, my monthly prescription down there, whatever the hell it's called. I'm I'm cause 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 I feel like like I, I hear those voices in my head trying to get me revved up and. I hate to be angry because the spirit of anger will have you do more damage to yourself 
than you're actually trying to do to somebody else. In the long, in the long and sometimes the short run, I don't want to go no place where I gotta be angry. You know, that's what, like like I, like I got into it with a young lady uh, um, <clears throat> last week. She got the talker fly at the mouth, and I was, I just laughed it off because I was like, yo, like I don't want to be angry. I'll just leave you in peace. Like, yo, okay, fine. I just let's just not be around each other because I already know what I am. You know what I'm saying? Let's you just do what you do. I'm do what I do, and I'm out. I don't need that. Like I'm, I'm trying to like I'm more of a lover than a fighter, but that don't mean I can't fight. You know what I'm saying? So this whole Planet Fitness thing is just, it just got me pissed off, man. And I'm just tired of black people acting like they better than other black people. Like, look, President Trump hates all of us. Like. <laughs> <clears throat> we all in the same boat, G. Like, cut it out. You, you know what I'm saying? I pay good money to come into this damn place. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going I'm to cancel my monthly prescription, and there's another one up the streets a little further from my house, and every now and then when I need to use it, I'll just pay my $5, go up there and get on their little bed up there. Because you know they, you know they was making a little twenty something dollars off of me, and I barely even went down there. But I'm just like, you know what? I look at it like this. That's just God telling me you need to just cancel your prescription down there because you're wasting money. So that's just what I'm gonna do. I go to a bunch of other gyms because I'm silver sneaker. Uh, and when you go on that silver sneaker game, you can go to a bunch of gyms, and the only one that ain't free is Planet Fitness. So I can go to a bunch of other gyms. It, that one just happens to be real close to my house. So I'm just telling y'all, man, if y'all experience something like that, man, stop giving them your money. Like, it, it, like Planet Fitness ain't going to shut down because I ain't giving them their, my money. But nonetheless, I, I, you, don't need, you don't need that type of service. They're like, that's not service when people are treating you like a second-class citizen. And that's exactly what the hell just happened. You know what I'm saying? And I had to get out of there because if that if that woman would have said something else to me or her boyfriend or the dude that worked there, I would have been in jail right now because I would have threw hands. And that, that's just it. And I hate to get to that level, you know, that it's just not necessary. I, I'm not trying to throw hands with nobody, but I know if she would have came out and said something else to me, I, I would have just... I would have just said anything to her. Her dude was my size, so it would have been a good one. But trust me, if I would have lost, I would have I would have broke something on him before I did. Like I'm going if I'm going out, I'm going out like that. Like you want it with me, I'm taking something from you you ain't never going to get back. Trust. That's how I get down. You know what I'm saying? US Army baby, that's how I do it. I'm trying to take you out of this place, all right? You know what I'm saying? And so this is why I don't, I don't be trying to get upset. I don't be trying to get angry because I fight for real. I don't listen to all this, hey, no slamming and no booming and no, I will bite you. I will stick my thumb straight through your temple. Yo, I'm not playing with nobody in these streets. So I, I ain't got time for this. And I ain't got time for some elite white pe elitist white people thinking that I'm some type of nigga slave. I'm not going for none of that. I'm going straight in somebody's mouth if they come at me like that. And I ain't got time for, for no black people acting a fool either. I'm, I'm giving them warnings. Get away from me with your nonsense. Because I got a mean right and a bad temper when it comes to that. I'm just telling y'all. Just get away from get away from people like that. Because I'm telling you, it, it like... Yo, I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to go back to jail for nobody. But if I go there, I'm going to go there with a smile. That's all I'm saying. Like, I'm telling you, Planet, yo, if, if Planet Fitness is going to have people like that in there, just go to another gym. They, 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 you can't even lift heavy in there and grunt, and they got an issue with that. Nah, I mean, it's ridiculous. Get out of here. It's lifting weights. It's called lifting weights. You can't come in here and lift weights. Like, get out of here with that. I'm out, man. Y'all be easy.